We just made this witch's broom signpost in about an hour, and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do it, Builder, to make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, get on your brooms and ride because our front porch decor for Halloween is taking off. <laughs> We're starting our fall season. We're going to start making all kinds of fun fall projects and we're starting with a Halloween project. Halloween is our favorite project or crafting. Or just season. It's our favorite season. It is. It is. We love to decorate our house for Halloween. We go all out. We have we a do. giant spider that takes up like a whole roof. That overlooks. Yes, so. yes. We've we've won a house decorating contest a time or two, and so it's always fun to just add more stuff out there in our front porch. We have a room filled or just dedicated. A closet. To like, yes. Well, it is like a room. It's a walk-in. It's a walk-in closet. Yes. Filled to the brim <laughs> with Halloween decorations. So why not add just one more? <laughs> I was in the store the other day and already have seen some Halloween things out and I saw this cute little broom stander. It was like a witch's broom, but a witch's sign. We've done something similar in the past for fall. That so thing I thought flimsy though. Looked flimsy. <laughs> Well, oh, you mean when we did it ourselves, like no, back the in, in the, the day? the one in the oh. store looked flimsy. Oh, yeah, it definitely did. It definitely did. So I that inspired us to make our own version of this, which is going to be taller, bigger, better, stronger, sturdier. scarier. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're going to make, a standing witch's broom street sign? Street sign. I don't know. It's, Porch it's sign? Gonna ha it's going to have some arrows. Oh, yeah, it's street sign, I guess. Yeah, signpost. Signpost, there, there you, you go. go. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We need a one by two, but only 52 inches of one. And you'll use our witch's broom signpost kit, which we've just put in our store, so it's a new kit for the fall. We need some paints, some wood glue, some three quarter inch brad nails. And then we purchased a little package of this raffia at Michael's that we'll use to cover the stand and make, make the like bottom of the broom, yeah. yeah. Make it usable. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cut. It's just one cut. <laughs> all cutting the one by two down to a broom size or 52 inches. Do you like how he brought that prop just for this little shot? <laughs> what am I doing? Safety first, Kim. Safety first, Garrett. Step three. Now we paint. We are, we're gonna paint all of our little pieces. We have all of our words and all of our little backers. Now we're just gonna paint them all. And we're gonna paint our one by two. What color is our one by two? Gonna be dark brown. Kathy. All right, we're gonna be using some exterior house paint. We love our country chic paints, but it's a chalk paint and takes some sealing. This already has exterior sealant in it, and there's no sealing to be done, no spray that has to be done after the fact. It's gonna be outside. It's gonna be getting all the weather, all those trick-or-treaters. These little rollers are great. They'll paint in minutes. A roll of this blue painter's tape is a great tool to have if you're doing any of these little DIY kits. You'll put this blue tape face up, sticky side up. You'll put your little pieces on here and then you can paint right over them and they never walk away while you're trying to paint them. You don't have to try to hold them and get paint all over your fingers. You can order any of our kits with or without the paint kit to go along with it. All the colors will come with it. Step four, a time to assemble it. We're gonna start by assembling all of our little pieces, like the witch's hat and all the little our sign street pieces. street signs, yep. And we're gonna use this Starbond Thick. It's the thick stuff, it really holds. He seems to be adamant that he wants to use the thick stuff. I love the thick stuff. But it doesn't have to be. You can use the blue version, it works just as well. Everything has score marks, so we know exactly where they go. And we're gonna glue inside the score marks. Instead of trying to glue all of our little pieces and move them to the sign post, you might drip along the way. And my little glue tip is do little dots. You can do little glue dipping dots here, and that will keep it nice and neat. 
You don't have to be as precise as old Garrett over there. And you want to push each letter in because if you just set it on top of that glue... It'll float away. It'll float. That's right. You'll look and it'll have slid off its score marks. Travel down the side. Look at this guy. Ooh, you look scary. <laughs> Did his mouth come out? Oh, yeah. My witch's hat. So we're good? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna add all of our little sign pieces, the hat and the spider and everything with a little bit of wood glue and a three quarter inch bread. The nail, not the guy. And we're gonna start 15 inches from the bottom. And just working our way up, right? Yeah. The rest of it's kind of just eyeballing it. I'm going to try to place a nail in an inconspicuous place on each side. Now we're going to attach the base. This base comes in the kit. It just slides together. Here you go. It's got a little base. I think we can make it permanent by putting some Gorilla Glue in there. Oh yeah, yeah. You could easily add some glue and then the base wouldn't fall off when you move it. Yeah. But we made it extra sturdy feet, so hopefully it won't fall over too easily. I mean, I guess if it gets crazy windy, it'll fall over, but. <laughs> Step five, and now we add the accents. We're gonna add a bow using some zip ties and this hay. It's raffia. Raffia. It's called raffia. I got the large pack. It comes folded in a trifold, three pieces. Yeah. I've not done this before, so we're just going to have to wing this. Look, I'm like raffia macchio. Okay, here's what I think I'm going to do. I think we're going to, the plan is we're going to fold this in half. I'm going to do some cleanup here in a minute. Mm -hmm. so I'll get, out. I'll go double zip tie on this. And then I want to just kind of wrap it around the pole a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah, oh, that's so great. That worked out so great. There you go. Look at that. Whoa. How tight do you want it? Here, I'll trim these off. All right, yeah. So I have two zip ties, two large zip ties zipped together. Double zip, give double the old zip. double zip. Yeah, so, well, I'll make the bow if you want to trim it. I, it's too long, I don't think it needs all that, do you? Yeah, I'll give it a little trim, you can make the bow. <laughs> I think you need the little one in there. I think it'll cock it sideways. Oh, you're gonna loop it through the raffia? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, okay, yeah. Let me turn it sideways, see what I can do here. Oh, are you gonna work your magic? Just hopefully be able to just tuck it right down in there. Yeah, that worked. And then zip it all through. Did you get it? Oh, you got it. There we go. Late breaking, we're adding some lights. Sorry, that's my last little thing. I think these little purple lights, string lights here, will be perfect. I'm just gonna wind them up through the and post. We'll tuck this in the foot. Yeah, there you go. What'd you think? You can't really see it from there. Yeah, you can't really but see it. It adds a little something. something. Yeah.
pretty easy, right? I thought it was super easy. easy. Yes. Especially with the, the feet that we did like we did. There was no like screwing or trying to figure out how to get it to stand. Nope, it's an easy little craft project. You think the uh, this little thing looks here like looks like a broomstick? Like a broomstick? I or, do. Or does I it, do. should it be thicker? I think it should be like, like. Yeah, he wants it to be crooked. But crooked, yeah, crooked. It easy if it were crooked. So this little one by two is perfect. And you just glue these little pieces on. You don't have to have the nailer. You can just glue it with some of that Gorilla Glue. Just let it set, let it set and dry. And you might have to chip it. away some of that puffiness. <laughs> but it will hold it. A big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. Thank you. We're having a patron Zoom call next Wednesday, right? That's right. Oop, I can't wait. Get your questions ready. I will answer anything. Ask me anything. That's it. Not Kim, though. She's very guarded. <laughs> You know what that means. If anything, I'm the biggest blabbermouth. She is. She can't keep a secret to save my life. Well, we are about out of time. So if you're not going to join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Actually, we also do test cut Tuesdays. Ooh, can't do it with the base. With the base. No, what if it breaks? I'm gonna be mad. Yeah, because we haven't really gotten our shots yet. Oh yeah. Now hold it down. Ooh, so that's that scary. Towards the end.